Hey everyone, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how to make use of Auto Punch in Personas's Studio One digital audio workstation. Auto Punch is really useful if you want to go in and record over a piece of a performance rather than re recording your entire performance. And it's very easy to use in Studio One, so let's go over how to make use of Auto Punch. So I'm going to go ahead and start off my session here by recording a piece of audio. And uh, so I'll just record a little bit of a voiceover right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start my transport from the beginning and just start recording. And this is me talking about Personas' Studio One digital audio workstation. I think that this is a very good workstation, and this is how to make use of Auto Punch. So now I can listen to my performance, of course. And this is me talking about Personas' Studio One digital audio workstation. I think that this is a very good workstation, and this is how to make use of Auto Punch. So that sounds okay, but let's say that I wanted to go back and I wanted to record some other pieces here, and I wanted to keep this intro part. But then when I get to about here, I'd like to punch in and record something else about the software. Well, this is where Auto Punch comes in handy. The first thing that I need to do is I need to decide which audio region I would like to record using Auto, auto Punch. So in order to do that, I'm going to move my mouse up onto my ruler here in my timeline. And my mouse is going to turn into a pencil icon. Now I can draw an audio region. Now usually I would use this region to designate how much audio I would like to export in an audio mix down. However, this is also how I can set the range of which I would like to auto punch record. Now, the entire idea of auto punch is that as I'm recording, all of the audio before the region I have selected will remain untouched as I record. However, as soon as my transport reaches the region which I have set, Auto Punch will kick in and it will begin recording some audio. I'm going to go ahead now and enable Auto Punch. To enable Auto Punch, I need to just take a look down here on the transport and I see the option for Auto Punch. I can enable this, enable this with my mouse or I can just press the I key on my keyboard. Now Auto Punch is enabled. Now I can begin recording by starting the transport a little bit before the audio region which I have selected. And as soon as the transport reaches this region, it's going to start recording audio again. And I can record another bit of audio over the performance that I previously did. So let's go ahead and record. This is me talking about Personas' Studio One digital audio workstation. This is a great audio workstation that I like to make use of many times every day. So now I have a brand new take, which has layered over the previous take, which I did right here. So now I can listen to this is Studio One Digital Audio Workstation. This is a great audio workstation. Now, the other great thing about this is that this allows me to, ta to do multiple takes. So if I were recording a guitar piece or something like that, and I wanted to just keep recording and keep trying to make sure that I can nail that guitar piece properly, I can just enable loop record and to do that, I'm just going to turn on the loop function right down here in my transport. Now, I can start again with my transport just a little bit before my audio region, and I can start recording. And as soon as Studio One reaches the end of the audio region that I've set, it will cycle back and it will, and it will begin recording again. So this allows me to get multiple takes. So I'm going to hit record, and I'll let this record, and you'll see how the loop recording works. Studio One, and this is me talking again about Studio One. We're going to go ahead and let this loop region reach the end, because when it does, we're going to have yet another audio take. And we can continue to allow this to cycle, and it will again make another audio take, and this will continue to happen until I decide to stop recording. Now what I've done is I've recorded multiple audio takes in Studio One. And now what I can do is I can select which of these audio takes I would like to use. You'll notice that as I was recording, when I got past a couple audio takes, this icon appeared right down here in the bottom left corner of this audio region. This icon allows me to get access to the multiple takes which I have done using Auto Punch. So I can right click on this icon and now I get a pop out menu. And here I get a number of controls such as being able to quantize events, mute events, things like that. But if I take a look near the top right here, I have the option to select the various takes which I've done. So I can scroll through my takes just by right clicking and then selecting a take. So as you can see, this lets me quickly and easily scroll through the takes which I have done. 
Now, I also have the option to right-click and select Unpack Takes to New Tracks. What this will do is it will expand each of the takes that I did during this performance to new audio tracks. So then I can also be selective here, decide which one I would like to keep, which one I would like to delete, or of course I can cut and merge these audio regions to create one final audio region for my mix down. Again, Auto Punch is a great way to be able to easily record over pieces of your performance rather than having to re-record your entire performance. And it's a very great tool to be able to make use of in everyday studio recording, especially when you have to do a lot of overdubs or try multiple times to just nail that one perfect piece right on the head. I hope that this has been useful to you guys. As always, please stay in touch with me, Brian, at Obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Obedia Tutor. And until next time, happy music making to you and take care.